Welcome back to Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. I am your host, the Musical Gamer. And unfortunately, the mannequins have all but been wiped out by Chiaki and her reason of Yosuga and her followers. Now it's time to confront them. So let's do that. Step into the light, Naoki. You can do it. A mirror at your feet is emitting light. Will you step into the light? Yes, we will. Alright. What is it that we're going to find in here? How arrogant. You misunderstand your purpose. Return to Earth, mud dolls! You're so weak, yet you struggle so hard to live. Dreaming a dream of power, that's your sin. Help us, gamer! If you don't stop this woman, we will be massacred! Hmm. Oh, Naoki. You would never partake in such a brutal act, would you? Your heart is unlike any demons, is it not? You don't comprehend the reason of Yosuga. You let the weak deceive you, so you forfeit your right to inherit the world with the strong. Why were you given a demon's body? You don't know the answer yourself, do you? You're not needed anymore. Goodbye. I'm actually a little bit surprised, because normally- Oh, I think I know why. Uh, well, first of all, welcome to the boss battle with the Seraphs, Raphael, Gabriel, and Uriel, the Archangels of, well, God's Heavenly Host. It's gonna be a bit of a tough battle. Gabriel, Uriel, and Raphael all have the same stats. 3,000 HP, 1,500 MP. Uh, no resistance to physical attacks, however, they are strong against all elements except Almighty. They repel, expel, and death, and void, curse, nerve, and mind. So, you're gonna want to use physical attacks for this battle. Just letting you know. But, I'm actually a little surprised because this scene can go a couple of different ways. Well, actually two different ways. One is how it went and we fight the three Seraphs. The other is Chiaki gives you a choice to join her side. If you do, the Yosuka flag will be turned on, turned on and you will fight a different battle. You will actually battle Futomimi himself and have to kill him. So, pretty... <laughs> Pretty devastating, if you ask me. Anyway, we are here to fight these things, so let us do that. I will start with a focus. It is recommended you go after the healer first, which I believe is Raphael. Th the walkthrough says it's Yoriel, but that makes no sense, because in lore and heavenly... Basically, in angelology, yes, there is actually angelology, and I do know a bit about it. Uh, Raphael was a healer, not Yoriel. So, I don't really know why it says Uriel, but I'm just going to go with my gut and say Raphael. Uh, they will occasionally throw up a Makarakarn and a Tetrakarn, so it would be a good idea to just keep your eyes out and definitely don't auto this battle. That would be a terrible idea. So terrible. Uh, let's go... you know, let's go for a Berserk. Oh cool, we got a crit, nice. I can actually attack. 480 damage, not bad. There's the Makarakarn. Ow! And Void! Nice. Good on you, Kukulin. Uh, they have a magic barrier up. That doesn't really matter too much to me. So let's just throw up a Fog Breath. Let's start Sukukajing. And... Berserk again. We'll just keep doing some Berserks. And ooh, getting some nice crits, too. No complaints from me. No, no crits there. 
Uh, how about another Fog Breath? I don't remember if they have Dakunda or not. They might. And ah, there's the Tetracarn. Ow! Nuts. Well, actually, that's not too bad because that means we can actually physically attack Yoriel now, I think. Because it's already been spent. Uh, let's use... I don't want to use a B-Chain, no. Focus... For me... For Kuhulin... Since we're about to heal, let's use a Guillotine on Uriel. Oh, what the hell?! Doesn't that... I guess it doesn't work that way. Alright. Uh, this could be... Oh, wow, nice dodge, everybody. Holy crap. Alright, I guess it doesn't work like that, so... That's actually a bit of a shock to me. I thought it did. Ah, uh, Persky, come on out. I would bring Parvati, but... We need, we need physical attacks. We don't need other stuff. Um... I would rather just make sure we get the Mediorama out of the way, in case I screw something up again. Alright, good hit. Makara Karn. And a Beast Eye, really? Really? Great, now they have both. Ow! Poor Gogmagog! It's not nice. I can't do anything. Neither can you. Uh, you can heal again. Yeah, just just heal. Uh, I'll get Gogmagog to throw up a Tarunda, because that's all he can do. There's that. Um, I forget if I focused or not. And, of course, Tetra Card. Hey, Gola. Uh-oh. Ha! Ah, dodged! Dodged, damn you! Bolt Storm! Glacial Blast! Hit him with all the magic we have! Because that's all we can do! Um, Panic Voice... No, Panic Voice is not going to help us here. Mabufula! Yeah, see, magic is not going to do us any favors. You can just use another Tarunda, though, and that'll be helpful. That's Makara Karn. I'm actually surprised they haven't started healing yet. I'm really wondering why. Eh, oh, Persky Voice, that, that's convenient. Really? Really, guys? Really? That's not helpful. It's not helpful at all. Just use a medicine on yourself. Pass. Type mind panic all enemies. No, I don't want to risk that being repelled. You use Tarunda. How about another medicine on... Oh, Gog Magog, why not? Why not? I am getting tired of the Tetracarns. That is annoying me. It is annoying me a lot. Well, time for some magic. Some bolt storms, some glacial blasts. Some good times, but had by all. <laughs> good times had by all. Blasting them with as much magic as we could throw at them. And tornado. Okay, please no Tetracarn. Please. Okay, I think we're good. Yes, we are good. 506 damage. Thank Christ. Um, Berserk. Can we get crits? No, we can't. How about a stasis blade? No crit, but good damage. You can just use Meteorama. Nuts! There it is! There's Raphael the healer and his Dirahan. 
Ow. Um, focus. I will wait. Can I please kill Raphael quickly? That is what I wish to do and to know. Alright, I didn't get any crits, so you know what? Pass on you and just hit him. Yes! We got the healer! Ha! Alright. Unfortunately, Uriel got healed. So that's gonna make things a little more complicated. Um, we can, however, just kind of go ham a little bit, because they have no way to heal themselves anymore. Damn it, no crits. I've always liked Berserk for the fact that it was really easy to crit enemies with it. Of course, the same holds true for you. It's easy to, to, easy to get crit with that move. But we killed one of them, so now the battle should be a lot easier. Especially since it's the healer that went down. Uh, okay. Focus. Stone Bite. Stasis Blade. And a Berserk. Yes! Critted! Haha! -ha. So you can get punched in the face, and we can dodge. Nice. That was very nice. Uh, you use Berserk this time. Oh, two crits! Holy crap! Uh, you use... Meteorama. I'm trying to be... I'm trying to be strategic here. If we can go for the extra crits, that'd be nice. Nice, Gabriel is down. I am... I'm just gonna auto the rest of this. Because we, uh, he can't even hit us. He's gonna go down real nice and quick. Oh, Megadola. He's trying. He's trying, but he is not succeeding. There he goes. Uriel is down. 10,000 experience for all of that. We got two levels up out of that. Persky and Gogmagog. Nice. Unfortunately, Kahulan died, so he's not going to get the level up. But uh, we got Chaos Blade. Damage relative to HP all enemies. I very well might get rid of... Um, yeah, I'm definitely getting rid of Stasis Blade. The next move is Mazandine. You've learned Evil Gaze. And you're learning Rakunda next, apparently. And a Mahama Rock. Nice. Thanks, Gogmagog. Good old buddy. Oh, nuts. Really? While we were busy, you killed him? That's so renegade. I'm impressed that he didn't die like a mud doll. But he won't get in my way again. He had so much Magatsui stored here. Funny. Did he think that a mud doll could conceive a reason? No. It was meant for me. This Magatsuhi will allow me to affirm my reason. The god who once died is returning to us now. Let us lay the sacred cloth across the coffin so the soul will never leave us again. By this woman's wish, I have come to create the kingdom of Yosuga. I am Baal Avatar, paragon of virtue and might, bringer of glory. I see the awakening of opposing forces. One has already emerged in Sano, and another is about to rise in Ginza at this very moment. I too shall endeavor to build a kingdom of beauty.
Well, frick. That's not good. Meet Ball Avatar, everybody. The deity of the reason of Yosuga. Nuts. That is very disturbing. I dread to think what's going to happen. And apparently, something is coming in Ginza? Great. So I guess that's our next destination. But before we do that, we need to go say hi to that mannequin who asked us to... Who asked us to save him. I'm very, very worried. Um, how did we... Right. It's, uh... It's this way. And then down. There's the terminal to get out anyway. Mannequin, are you still here? Oh no. No one's here. What happened to him? I've got a very bad feeling about what's happening to the Vortex world now. And I'm terrified of what's to come. This is the Musical Gamer signing off. See you guys next video.